Okay, seems like we that side. And we're good over there. Okie dokie. Yeah. Channel over there. Okay, all good. Now I need to remember where we actually were up to. I can't really remember. I'm gonna be completely honest. Right. This part. Hey, Millie, how are you going? I mean, you almost beat the bot, to be fair. It was very close. One day. I mean, you have done it before, so it's, it's possible to do. I just think you need to find the one day where the bot's a little bit slower. Okay, break the seal and battle into the depths. Seal them. This doesn't look like hell. I'm going to be completely honest. This looks much nicer than hell. At least I think this is where it's meant to be. Oh, anyways. Hi, Carrot. Hey, Millie. I guess how has your day, day been? Where are these things coming from? How are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. Um, Had a few days off, which wasn't too bad. Is this meant to be like a game of chess? You know, I'm not great at chess. But I think I could win. I mean, last time I checked, when it's two pa one pieces against the entire... What would you call it? Enemy? I, I don't know how, that's, how that would go. But I think I'll do fine, maybe. Uh, not in pain anymore. Uh, but had a busy day. That's fair. Yeah, at least you're feeling better, which is good. I know how to play chess. Uh, what do I want to edge later? Yeah, I know how to play chess. I don't exactly know all the rules, though. Because I know you can do a thing where... The king can switch with certain... Why can't I hit them? What is going on? Huh? Where? Okay, now I can. I'm very confused what was going on there. Yeah, I know there's a thing where the king can switch with the... With the castle, I think it is. This is turning out to be a little bit harder than I thought. Yeah, I'm still not completely sure how that actually works. All I know is it is a rule. I think it's a rule, at least. Now, what is turning all these things invincible? I don't know what it is. But there's something turning these pieces invincible. And whatever it is, I don't like it. Uh, I think you know what piece you're talking about? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm okay at chess. Uh, every time I played my friend, though... Uh, I, I lost. So, I know the rules, just not great at it. I mean, if someone asks to play chess, I at least know how to, which I'll take as a win. Now, the question is, can I beat them? Please? Maybe? Okay, get away from the king. Okay, I'm gonna take everything out and then leave the king for last, maybe. I feel like that's probably my best... My best bet. That's if I can even take some of these out, because... I mean... Some of them, I can't hit. Well, nothing else, I can beat me at chess. I guess that is true. Yeah, I mean, I don't think chess is too hard once you learn how everything moves. Because there's only really... 
let me I, I need to pause this for a minute like one two like five or six pieces that you actually need to understand what actually it might be six or seven but once you understand the moves between the difference between the all those pieces not too bad because the pawns they can usually just move one spot ahead and then attack things diagonally. There's the... Um... What are they called? The... Castles, they can only move... Uh... Horizontal. The... Uh, priest things... I can't remember what they're called. They can only go like... Diagonally. The queen can go any direction. The horse has to move in like an L shape, so it can go like two, two squares in one direction and one in another, or one in one direction and two in another. Uh, priest bishop? Yeah, bishop is what it's called. And then, what other pieces are there? There's the king, they can only move one direction in any any way. Uh th 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 enemies. What if I just run? This seems like a great plan. Just run and I should be okay. Because I don't really want to deal with these things. Yeah, what other things are there? Uh the horse was bishop, uh when you said it. Now the horse I think it has a horse head. I think. Could be wrong though. Now. This reminds me of the painting. What's it called? Where there's like stairs that are like sideways, upside down. Um. Uh, 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 why am I here? Why am I here? Okay. I guess we'll have to deal with what's his name. Cerberus. I, I don't- why am- why am I fighting Cerberus again? I- I have many questions. Do I need to fight Cerberus again? I'm so confused. It does, I remember- yeah. I- you're harder than the original Cerberus, I think. Maybe, possibly. Or maybe it's not. Maybe I'm just thinking it's harder. Actually, maybe it's not harder than the original Cerberus. Maybe I'm just being la dumb. Yeah, I can't remember the name of the artist that did that thing with the, with the stairs. Where some stairs going up, some stairs are sideways, some stairs are upside down. I'll remember it at some point. Just getting around to remembering it. But I feel like it's a famous artwork, I think. Actually, what's the other... Oh, I can use this. Does this do any more damage? I don't think so. Come on, dog. Go down, dog. Okay, I'm gonna use my thing and uh, come in and hit him. Oh, I I lost my chance. Hmm. What can I do? Was it I'll dehydrate and a stretch in a quick minute? Stop shooting at his paw. His paw isn't what you need to aim at. You need to aim at the head. There we go. Question is, have we got this? I don't know. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, I'm alive. Somehow. Ow. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Take out Cerberus, please. Please. And he's dead. I think. 
He's dead. I'm gonna style level up. I'll take it. Uh, hold the left in any direction and press B while in midair. Perform the dash. Maneuver two times. Uh, in rap. Huh? Like this? No. Not. Uh, wait, do you have all this? You have a good point. I think I have forgotten. I swear, one day. One day I'll remember. Oh. Oh, I have to fight. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight things. Eight. One was hard enough, let alone eight. Uh, take care of yourself. I mean, it's usually because I just drink all of my water at night, and then I completely forget to grab water before I start streaming. I hear myself. I hate that. So <laughs> I'll be right back. Back and now I actually have water. Uh, set an iron computer that says grab water or chat will drain you. That's probably a good idea, actually. And that's a good reminder. That is true. I think I would remember then. It's either I somehow just ignore a uh, blatantly ignore a sticky note at like the top of my computer that's covering the screen or I go and get water you know I feel like it's, then it would be hard to miss maybe I'll start thinking of doing that because I think I have sticky notes I don't know where but I know I have st a sticky note somewhere in the house are these dudes how do I deal with these dudes? I remember. What weapons do I have equipped? I don't have the weapons equipped that I used last time. Hopefully I can use their own weapons on them. Let's see how this goes. I don't know if this is going to go too well. I don't have the weapon... The weapons for these dudes. And their own weapons... Isn't good enough against them. Because I used to be able to attack fast enough to the point where I could just knock the weapons out of their hands. But I can't really do that. Half joking, but I'm okay. I mean, it probably would work. It's just the thing of, I don't think I'd ever actually get around to doing it. Which also, I started watching um, a documentary uh, on Netflix called, I think it's Chimp Empire. Actually quite interesting, learning about chimps. I didn't know how intricate, I guess, the, the social system of a chimp was. But I've, I've learned quite a bit from it. Empire? Yeah. So, it's been following, like, I guess, so there's groups of chimps in a place called, I think it's like, Nagogo, and then there's, like, the main group in the middle, and then there's, like, a western group, and that's all I've gotten to so far, but monkeys from different groups don't really get along, and I've also learned that when monkeys do, like, the grooming thing to each other, if they groom each other, apparently it means they're friends. But if one grooms one person and then they don't get groomed back, apparently that means 
It's, I guess it's their language of talking. Apparently. Something like that. Uh, I don't know watch documentary cheese. Uh, but I'll check it out, assuming I remember. Yeah, I don't normally watch documentaries either. But this one seemed interesting. So I figured I'd give it a try. The only documentaries I ever really watch are usually nature documentaries or something like that. Other than that, I just don't really find documentaries that interesting. Uh, I also think I'm going to die. Which isn't good. I should probably think about dodging as well. That would probably be a good idea. Gotta remember to dodge. Dodge and wave. Dodge and wave. I believe. I got this. I mean, I have the thing so I can dodge equipped. So I should probably try dodging. I'm, I'm dead. Turns out, can't really dodge if you're dead. Uh, turn real, uh, the educational, but not always interesting. Yeah. I mean, there's a dude who does a, um, a voiceover, which I think that's why I enjoy it a bit more. He actually explains what is going on and why they do the certain things a bit better. He sort of explains it like more of a story rather than this I guess rather than just explaining it normally. Which I think is why I like it a bit more. Now, what is the yellow one? Because now I need to get fi buy, figure out my way to get around here. Because I could go back to that one again. But I want to have different weapons equipped. So I might just... Wait, can I walk up the wall? I need to see if I can walk up the... My brain. It, ca it can't keep up with this. Okay, I'm just gonna go with this yellow one. Which is... Oh, this thing. This thing isn't actually that bad. Okay, drop down onto it. Get the damage off. It does the roly-poly. Now we wait here. For it to come out. There we go. Now we can get some hits off again. Now I'm not sure if I can really get onto it from there. Oh, I'm going to come back over to here. Yeah. What do you normally uh, watch, Millie? If there's any certain things that you normally watch. Yeah, I've been very... I don't know. I haven't really know, been knowing what to watch. I've been mainly just watching One Piece. Trying to get through a bit of that. And then the documentary is all I've really been watching of recent. Come on. More damage. More damage. I'm honestly impressed I was able to hit those things back. Wait, hit him! Okay, there we go. I'll take that as a win. Now, I'm just going to run back over to here and get back up there. Then we can hit him on his way in and then the same as I've been doing on the way out. Wait... There he is. Or she. I don't know the gender of this flying millipede thing. I don't think I really need to know the gender of the flying millipede thing. I don't think it matters too much.
it came out of the other hole, didn't it? Yeah, it went out of that middle one. Not the middle one. Lots of different things that's coming. I'm so confused. I guess... Nope, I don't go over there now. It still comes to here. Okay, I'm... Oh. Wait, now it is coming out? I'm so confused. What are you doing, Millipede? I mean, I don't even know if it's a Millipede, I'm going to be honest. I just think it looks like a Millipede. I guess it would be more of a centipede, wouldn't it? I think it would be more of a centipede than a millipede. What is it doing? I don't know what it's doing. Either way, I'm going to hit it. Okay. That's this thing dealt with. This enemy wasn't too bad. But I guess this is what it meant by break the seal. We have to defeat all the enemies... Break the seal slash thingy gem stone thing. Uh, look, sorry, I got a headache. I uh, should be a break. Okay, all good, Millie. Take your time. Yeah, hopefully, a headache gets a bit better. Purple. What's the purple one? Oh, this lady. Yeah, thank you for the luck, Millie. Uh, please don't. Now I need to remember how to deal with this lady again. Right, I need to remember to dodge, not jump around. And remember her attacks. I get a little bit of damage off. Damn it, I didn't dodge away in time. Okay, deal with the bats. I don't really like her bats. Oh, she's up to the area where she can do uh, lasers things. Come on. Hits off. Dodge. Okay, now she's going to do the thing with the laser on the ground. With the whole be ground being electrified. She's not. That's what I thought she was going to do. I don't want to be tired. Like, actually, it would be good to be tired now. Then I can get sleep at a decent time. Maybe it would be good. You know, I don't exactly want to be tired is the problem. It's not the moment. I have things to do still. Like stream. So why was I pressing B? That hurt, miss. All right, there we go. It's even better because I have my uh, my trigger on. I was able to dodge that. I'm honestly impressed. Okay, right, now she does that. There we go. You gonna do it again? Yes. Wow. Ow. Oh, 
I'll try to ground again. Third time. Don't wanna. Don't wanna miss. Please, please, no. Ow, that hurt so much. Oh, god damn it! I hit it with the guns, so yeah. When you hit, when you finish her off with the guns, you don't get much time to actually do my, do any damage, like at all. No, don't you zap me. Don't you zap me, miss. Oh god. Come on. Get some damage off. Yes! Okay, she's getting a little bit lower. Bit by bit. Definitely better than the first time I ever fought her. I mean, you'd expect it to be, because this is the... Actually, I don't even know what how many times I've fought her now, but... It's a few. Quite a few, actually. I remember her being so much trouble and hassle. Okay, get her down to our level. Okay, right, there we go. Okay. And you also remember to keep a little bit of devil trigger for when she tries to suck our blood. And, uh... It's basically her version of life still. Now, oh god, I'm terrible at dodging those ones. I basically just need to dodge because she's really low on bats. Ow, ow, ow. Okay. As long as she doesn't catch me, we're all good. I am <laughs> too scared that I'm going to take a hit and die. Right at this point. Right at the end. Okay. 
Okay, please. Please. Okay, we got it. Whew. We did it. Nothing to worry about. Okay, well that's three down. This is almost like a, a boss a boss rush level, basically, is what this is. This would be very annoying to do on the yellow mode if you can't um like heal. Now I need to figure out where to go to get back to the start because I don't want to really deal with that green one without the um Cerberus thingy. That the Cerberus, what would it be? Um, oh, I just noticed my health is not good. At all. Why am I hitting this thing? I got stuck. Okay. Um. Continue. Yes. Okay, I guess I'll just make my way from here. Actually. Why don't I just go here, go equip, and then just... Vice Arms. Change Wolf out for Cerberus. Yeah, now I don't have to worry. Okay, I guess let's go up here. Which takes me to... Oh, right. Forgot about this one. All oh, right. I remember. We did this one just before. Oh, I wasn't using the right weapons. Damn it. Okay. Bit by bit, sir. I remember this one taking a while. Then again, most of the bosses in this game do take a while. Okay, so that's how you stun him for longer. You have all of these... You stun him with all these things turned on. I see now. So that's what you want to do. I'm going to try and stun him with all these things being on. Maybe he's here. Come on over. And okay, now we're going to turn this one on. And then, and that one back on. Right, there we go. Now, I just got to have him attack me over at this one. There we go. Look at the damage! The damage! Yeah, so this dude isn't actually that bad. <laughs> Just gotta keep track of all the things you have turned on and when he attacks you. Which, to be fair, I've still been hit a few times. Which, what if I just go along and... Turn them all on and then just... Have him hit me for the last one. Make sure he comes and attacks me for the last one. I mean, getting hit by him at each of those ones is... No, you come over to me, sir. 
Oh, if you can also just get all of them on, then he uh, gets staggered as well. Ah, uh -huh, I see. Okay, there we go. All done. Would like to get some health. That would also be good. Oh, health. Thank you, gay. Very nice. Uh, I guess now that I have the right weapon, we can go for these uh, these dudes. Oh god, I can't do it. I still can't do it. I don't have the sword style equipped. I'm just going to use them against themselves. Okay. I got this. Use your dodging techniques and you'll be all good. See? We're doing fine. I also need to make sure to actually go for both of them. Otherwise, I'm going to have a really hard time with one of them being really strong. Keep an eye on the, on the red one. Yeah, I gotta keep an eye on both of them. Also, hey, Pookie, how are you doing? How was... Uh, I can never remember the name of games. How was that um thing where you were having trouble with the healer? How's, how's that going, Pookie? Oh, please. I guess, how have you been over the last few days? Okay, got a bit more damage off on you, so both at least half health now. Okay, dodging, very good against these two. I'm um, sick, not really doing well mentally. That's not good to hear. Yeah, hope uh, please, no, please. <laughs> Hopefully things get better uh, soon, Spooky. Please. Please. No. How did I do it to both of them? I'm honestly just depressed. Okay. Now we go for the red one. So I'm guessing you haven't been up to too much then, Pookie? Dodge. Dodge. Have him do that. Then we dodge. Dodge. Go do this. Now we... Ow. Ow. But I'm like, this dodging uh, style is quite good. Uh, also, Steve said something. Uh, we're in a quick second. Uh, I just need to quickly <laughs> get in a position where I can look away from the screen.
Okay. Yep, he's all he's all mad. They both use the same sword now. One man, two sword. There we go. Uh, I remember a lot of stuff that happened between um, my partner in the past. Oh, okay. So, have you and your partner broken up? Or is that what's going on? Also, if you don't want to talk about it, uh, you can just let me know. I try not to pry too much. Now, we have a choice. The white one, which I don't know what that is. Or the... Blue one, which is the chariot. How's my health looking? Actually, do I get a green thing each after I beat each thing up here? It'd be great if I left a little green orb there every time I beat something. That would make this a lot easier. Uh, we have uh, just some stuff they've done. Okay. I mean, if it's something that's, I guess, bothering you, maybe bring it up to them. Or if it's something that they've done more than once. Uh, happened a long time ago? Okay. That still makes me feel hurt. I mean, that's fair. I mean, the pet... Obviously, there's some things even after a certain amount of time. You can still... Uh, it's reasonable for you to still feel hurt by. Okay. Dodging these ones seeming to be quite hard. I was able to do it last time, though, so... Should be able to do it again. Ow. Come on, fall over, horsey. Fall over, horsey. Yes. Oh, no. He's going to slow down time. Uh, and some recent stuff, too. Oh, well, if it's recent, uh, recent, maybe think about bringing it up to them and how it makes you feel. I think I'm just not going to do good against this horse as an enemy. I mean, I have fought the horse before. I'm just not doing as good as I did last time. I know, the, dodge, the normal dodging like that seems to work better than the dodging style against this thing. Yes. Free hits on the, not no free hits on the horsey. I take back what I said. Ow. Uh, talking about that kind of stuff. Okay. I guess are they um saying how they're gonna or trying to uh work on what the problem is then? The Leviathan. Let's go with the Leviathan. Oops. Okay, we have free time. We have free time. Hit him. The other one's stealing all of my mojo. Also, I'm where I'm using the wrong weapon. Using the right weapon would probably help. Okay, get some damage off. Good damage. That's actually really good damage. Like a quarter of its health.
Okay, let's try and have these things be hit by them. Yeah, I mean, as long as they know, uh, I guess, the thing, or I guess what the problem is, and they try to work on it. Okay, now we go up. Then again, I will say, probably not the best to be giving advice, because I never, I have actually never been in a relationship. But it's the best advice I have. They're all clumped up, so let's do this. Now you stop, stop taking my 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 thing, my my devil trigger. It's not very nice. Okay, there we go. It's actually kind of good that that thing comes in. I was going to say because it gets rid of all the enemies while I uh, want to do the damage. Okay. All the enemies gone. So come in, do some damage to this thingy. Hey, the purple orbs. Come and attack the, uh, the, the dudes for me. Thank you, game. Ow. I think... Three more... Three more attacks on the main thing, and it should... Should be dead. Hopefully. I'm thinking. Okay, come on. There we go. Okay. Should be this one, one more, and then we should be done. Maybe. Hopefully. Yeah, we did it! Okay. Hold good. Only three more left. Which is the one up there. And the blue one over here. Let's try the horse again. Thing is, I'm always going up against this horse damaged. And not at full health. Also, I see it says... Actually, I'll clear it now. Uh, I've changed the old stuff, uh, happened, uh, it never really happens anymore, I haven't bought up up stuff that bothers me, uh, because I'm scared and make them feel bad, um, but we've talked about other stuff, uh, uh, I mean, it's probably better to bring up the stuff even if, I guess, it could make them feel bad. Because it's be probably better that they know than you having, I guess, these feelings if it's something that keeps happening, I guess. If that makes sense. See where you come from. Yeah, I guess it's sort of a hard predicament. I can see where you, I can see where you're coming from. No, stop! Don't shoot. Yeah, okay, why is the carriage shooting bombs? Where are these bombs actually coming from? Is there anyone in the carriage? I have many questions, horse. Many, many questions. Yes! 
Great damage. No. Where? What's the horse doing? Why'd the horse do that? Okay. Oh god. Now I'm gonna have to wait until I get... Oh god. Ah. Uh, oh no. I'm just going to wait until I get a bit more Devil Trigger to uh, attack the horse again, but no. I kind of just need, need to do some damage now. Uh, missing some pass, I don't really uh, think bringing it up now will help much. Uh, I've still come on a bit. Uh, so it's not something, uh, I guess, recent. It's still one of those things in the past. I guess, I guess, yeah, it probably wouldn't help. Yeah, I mean, very fair for things to still bother you, even though, I guess, if it's in the past and it doesn't really happen anymore. That orange one. Down here somewhere, is it over at this thing? Maybe. Oh, health. Actually, I don't need the health at the moment. We're all good. Oh, it's right here. So after I beat the horse one, it would have been here anyway. Oh, it's just this area. Okay, well, that's not that bad. This is like the very first boss. Shouldn't be too bad. Thing I still take damage from these things. I don't really die to them as much anymore. But I still take damage to them. Yeah, as long as I have my devil trigger on, I can damage them. Dodge and then hit. Ah, oh, you came back and did another hit. Uh, I still want to talk about it. Uh, I might talk to someone else about it. Yeah, that's that's fair. I mean, I guess probably t uh, talking about it with at least someone is probably, I guess, better than not even talking about it. Wait, alright. Am I going to have to go through two lots of that enemy? I'm confused. So is this just another one? Or is it the same one? My god, enemies just keep spawning in. They don't stop. Oh, there is a health bar down the bottom, actually.
No! Look at the house! No! Have you again? Have you? Okay, I guess. Let's do. <laughs> let's leave that one after. Now, what is this one? No. Him. Okay, I'm gonna deal with the horse first, and then we'll deal with him, and then we'll deal with that big group one. But it seems like I have to deal with two of them. Which is annoying. Yeah, let's deal with the horse. Those things do so much damage. some damage off oh I was using the wrong weapon I'm gonna be honest I didn't even notice We got this. Just believe. And now they're bringing in the red orbs. Ooh! Didn't notice I actually did enough damage to have the horse lay down. If we can get to that point again, I might be able to do it. I mean, my devil trigger's getting full. So, looking good. Now, what's the horse doing? Just gonna do the running again. Okay. I was wondering why it stopped and just did the thing. No. Okay. One. Yes. Okay. And there we go. Horsey down. Now, what else have we got? 20 red orbs? Yes, there are red orbs right in the middle. 28,000. I could probably upgrade something for that. Okay. Oh, so I don't have to fight the other two. Oh, that's actually a lot nicer game. I thought it was going to have me fight those. So I'm going to just choose to not fight the others. I'd be probably get an achievement for doing it. But for the sake of this, I'm not going to torture myself to dealing with that weird scorpion angel thing again. Because that thing was absolute torture.
You know who he looks like? Nilo Angelo, or whatever his name is. Is that the dude's name from Devil May Cry 1? I'm pretty sure that's what his name is. Uh, also, I decided to start a new playthrough in Dark's Dungeon uh, because I was broke. Oh, so that posed a really big, big problem then. To the point where you had to restart. Hey, my damage was good. I see. Well, hopefully, this playthrough goes a lot better. Yeah, we'll put it in save file number 9. Next mission. I think we're actually coming to the next mission, because I think this game has 20 missions, I think. A Virgil? Maybe? Uh, also, I tried playing a game uh, called Fear and Hunger, and it's uh, very dark. Very. Oh. Uh, so I'm guessing. <laughs> So is it, is it a horror game or is it just very dark? These things, they're not actually that that bad. I'm gonna be honest. These things, unless these ones are different to the ones that I've already fought. Arts of Horror, I see. So in what sense is it dark? Do you mean Pookie? Yeah, we're out there. Oh, there's still two. Oh, never mind, there's, there's more of them. Deal with them while they're down. There we I was gonna say, there we go. Never mind. Not dead yet. Okay, there we go. Move on to the next one. Uh, it's for horror where you choose uh, from four classes and each have their own background and reason. Go to this uh, prison castle, I should say. Not for you, survival horror. Uh, it's very disturbing. Do you mean as in, like, I guess. The environments, or the story, I guess like the backstory of each character, or I guess it could even be both. Am I going to have to fight these enemies through different... Why can't I hit them? I'm confused. I'm, I'm very... Oh, I guess I have to break the glass? Some of these glasses are tinted differently than the than others. Like now we have to go over and attack this one. So I guess these these things are sort of just like reflections. Now we do this one. Aha, that is what they are. Bit by bit, we'll take him out. One of the, more of these glasses will have to break at some point. Okay, now we have over here. Have we? I swear we've done this one before. Oh, that was all I had to do. I just had to destroy enough of the glasses or do enough damage to the... Glass slash. Why did I say glass? It's a mirror. 
Uh, everything monsters environment story uh, makes you feel like you're hopeless. Uh, it's terrifying monster gore, sexual abuse. Uh, it's kind of crazy. Aha! Uh -huh. I guess it's a very it's very good at doing what it's meant to do. Then I guess it sounds like it's sort of like a also a psychological horror. Um, then. I guess like a normal horror and psychological horror. Now, okay, these ones I can attack. These pillars. Ow. Stop throwing your sights at me. Stop it. I don't like it. Oh, health. Gib. Gib. Thank you, game. Okay, this one just has me fi fight five enemies. Real good. Now I just gotta deal with these two. I think it's just probably just these two left. Because, I mean, another one hasn't spawned, so... Yeah, I'm going to also try and save my Devil Trigger for the next room, because... Well, I don't know what the next room is, but... Okay. There's only one enemy, so... Huh? What? I'm... So confused. Did it send me back in time? Do I need to kill them faster or do I just need to like survive for a certain amount of time or... What is the goal here? Okay, if I beat them again, I'm just gonna assume I have to run out the time. I, again, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming. Could be completely wrong. Uh, it's also... Uh... I mean, RPG Maker. Oh, okay, so what is RPG Maker? Because that... I do not know. I mean, I can... I can take a good guess at what RPG Maker is. Okay, I just had to fight them again. Uh, sam Samasara. Sculp sculpture symbolizing the time-space continuum. Used to restore order to time-space rifts. Uh-huh. And that helps me. How? I'm guessing I'll find a use for it somewhere. I just don't know where. Oh, we're back to here. Huh. What is it? What am I actually meant to be doing? Do that. I won't let me do anything, really. Do I want to go back down to the start here? Go back through here. I think I want to go back through there. Or do I? I'm very confused. Okay. Very... Very con... I mean, maybe I do. Otherwise, why else would it take me here? I'm just gonna run past all these things. 
Because I don't actually need to fight them. And go back through this. And then back through here. I probably should have read what the thing actually wanted me to do, what the mission thing was. Go up to here. Um. Go back through this. Alright, right, it's these things. Um That's that, yeah. Where do I go to check what the mission actually wants me to do? That's star, that's guns, that's my devil arms, enemy items. Sorry, I didn't hear a thing. I said I was a bit busy. Oh, good. Uh, what was... Now I can't actually remember what the question was. I hate having a horrible memory. It's the worst. I think I was asking what RPG Maker actually is. Because I think I can take a good guess what it is. I was about to game. I, yeah, I think so. I don't think the game would have me go back this far, would it? I'm gonna really search up. Pretty sure we're up to mission 19. Let me quickly uh see what I gotta do. So DMC3 mission 19. Let me see. Push up time. No! No push ups! At least 10, ten isn't too bad. Okay, I'll quickly figure out where I actually got to go to, and then I'll, I'll do the push-up. See so yeah, we beat that thing. And then we... I came all the way back here for no damn reason. Now I got to go the whole way. Back. I figured it'd be something like that, but then I figured, why, why would it send me out if it could just send me through it again? Why do I always go the hard way and make things way more complicated than I, than they really should? Uh, it's like a game where you can make your own RPG game, basically. Uh, I can only make a custom RPG game uh, with RPG Maker. I see. Sounds very intriguing. And then I'm guessing you can, is it like you can search through, I guess, that thing? Or is there like a, um, I guess would it be Steam Workshop if it's on Steam for the thing? Uh, have you heard of Five Nights at uh, F-E-C-K Boys? I don't think I have. And you can import your own sprites. E. But I have not heard of that. Yeah, I know there's a lot of... Oh, uh, this game made in RPG Maker. I see. Yeah, the amount of... Five nights it and then just insert a name. There's there's so many. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna quickly do the push-ups and I'll be right back. Really annoying that I have to go all the way over there. Just do the push-up.
Okay, I'm back. What was it? My, uh, my shoulders still crack every time I do a push-up. I wonder if they'll ever not crack. I still don't know if it's good or bad, but, I mean... I'm not gonna go <laughs> searching around. If I, if I ask Google if your arms crack when you're doing push-ups, they'll say I have, like, a broken arm or something. So, I'm not gonna... Not gonna worry about looking around what it, what it does. Okay, in here! This is new. Do I go back through it? I do. Yeah, apparently we gotta choose here. Stop the various cycle of bending time and space. Looks like something can be inserted here. There we go. I'm guessing this is gonna take me to the, to the big baddie, the big boss. I think it may. It's really nice how these platforms just, you know, just get into the place. Now. Oh, it's tempting. You know what? We'll, we'll get another one. I'll also get that. There we go. And I can probably come over to guns. Yeah, I can't upgrade them anymore. I see. Oh, I might upgrade this one again. There we go. <laughs> that one's also Reese's max level. I don't think really... Yeah, I can't buy any more things for them. Well. Yes. I'm going to go through. Oh, this is where the dude turned into... Yeah, there he is. There is he. What, you're getting big? I'm still confused as to why he said it's like looking at a backed up toilet. Yeah, I feel like they could have chosen such, such a better thing there than that. Anyway. He sort of just looks like a weird furball. I'm gonna be honest. A weird glowing furball. Now, time to learn this dude's attacks. Okay, he has missiles. Noted. What are these things? Okay, do I need to actually go over and hit him? Okay. So I have to do melee damage if I want to do any damage to him. Noted. Because yeah, doing that, doing like that, doesn't do any damage to him.
Okay, now we're just going to deal with these things. So, this dude doesn't actually seem too bad. Okay, then we use our uh, Devil Trigger. And we're going to do some damage to him. Okay, and now he goes back down. So, again, now he's going to deal with these things. Which, I mean, if, if you just jump and then fly away, and then do a thing, jump, fly away, you can usually do a decent amount of damage to him. And yeah, now there's none left. Now we come back over, use a Devil Trigger, do a little bit of damage. And seems like it's just do that. At okay, that time, he actually was able to hit me. Okay, well, he's almost half health, which is, I would say, complete win. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Hello, sir. Papa. Oh, man. Impersonating me, my papa. But how are you going, deads? Oh. I mean, you didn't even get me down to half health, sir. So, I don't know what you're going on about. Hey, Virgil. You finally caught up. I've come to retrieve my power. You can't handle it. Look at you. Making a big dramatic entrance and stealing my spotlight. Wow. You don't possibly believe that he deserves to be our main event now, do you? Now that you mention it. But I mean, I don't want to fight Virgil either. It's kind of just annoying to fight. You should come to realize you cannot control the power of Sparta. You're wasting your time, buddy. I think he needs to learn the hard way. Okay, show Arkham the true power of the Sons of Sparta. Virgil follows Dante's lead, but still spins uh, his own special style of ass kicking. Uh, press B to call Virgil to your side. Uh, you can utilize demon form while fighting with Virgil. Uh, no, this applies to default control. Okay. Let's do it! So, if he takes damage, do I take damage? Okay, this dude seems a little bit more annoyed. Well, he's more annoyed than he was before. Oh, well, yeah, these things aren't too bad. Damn it, I can't use my style anymore. Well, I guess I have... I guess I have Virgil, so... I, I, I think Vir I'll take Virgil over a style. I tell you back what I said. I'd rather my style. <laughs> I can't use my Devil Trigger. It's the worst part. Now I can take damage. Devil Trigger makes you invincible for a bit. 
Uh, turn around, what about you? Hi, I'm going to class. I'm class. Uh, so, uh, really great. Give me rain any minute. Come on, guys, do, do something, please. Attack him. Okay. Maybe this isn't too bad. No! Come on. If we just if we just go through this and just do all the damage we can, we should get him. Virgil? Virgil? Why Virgil? Virgil, why? Why'd you have to show up? You made it so much harder than it had to be. Why is it harder with having Virgil than just purely by myself? Uh, I had another, cl another class. I had to. I had time to share after. I see. Yeah, I tend to have more night showers than, I guess, morning showers. I'm assuming it's morning. Damn it. Okay. Well, hopefully this time I can do it a little bit better. Okay. Vest got a full devil trigger, so let's see how much damage we can get done on, done onto him. Hey, he's going back down. Now we retreat again. Uh, I used to be like that, but now for the morning, uh, when I go home. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, I usually take one at night. Sometimes I take one after work. Um, but yeah, usually I just have, I usually just have one at night. Usually you have one, and then I just read a book for a bit after, and yeah, <laughs> usually how it goes. I don't know why. It just feels like reading a book. Afterwards, relaxing. Yeah, no, uh, wrong button. Now, you pop back up, sir. Hello. Now, this should be the last bit before Virgil pops up. Yeah, not having my Devil Trigger is more annoying than you would think. Okay, now we have that scene. What if Virgil just takes all the damage for me instead? Oh. It, it, I was able to control Virgil for a bit there. You know, it's funny how the dude still goes after me, even though Virgil's here now. And all the enemies also go after me. Why not Virgil, hmm?
I hate, I really hate how I can't use my devil trigger. Le that means I can't get my health back. I can't become invincible. It's, it's just horrible. I would rather not be able to control Virgil. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. I also can't dodge as, as uh, good either. Because I'm gonna be honest, half the time Virgil doesn't even attack this, the big dude. Yeah, Virgil, do it, do it. Attack him. See, like, what's Virgil doing over there? Also, my health ain't looking too good. God damn you. God damn you, sir. <laughs> I mean, yes. It's not even like the dude gets harder. It's just, I can't use the things that make him easier. But like I was saying, it's not even like it's gotten harder. It's just Virgil. I blame my dying twice all on Virgil. At first I was like, yeah, control of Virgil won't be too bad. I didn't realize how bad control of Virgil would actually be. Because again, it stops me from being able to heal. Being able to dodge is good. Virgil just goes and does his own thing half the time, even when I call him to me. But I'm not complaining. Just annoying. It's not as good. It should only need to do this one and then do the attack for a little bit more and then we'll be good. I mean, is it meant to be harder with Virgil there? I guess. I mean, I see why they don't allow you to get all this stuff. Otherwise, it would be just too OP. But it's just they take away the things that I that are helping me defeat him. Also, is he not half health yet? I thought he was. Now I'm going to be going up against him with not much health. And with Virgil. But yeah, I thought I'd be able to do a little bit, you know, just a little bit of damage and get uh, some more, or get him to do the cutscene, but I ended up just wasting my, wasting my health. As I get to Virgil. <laughs> Game. Ow. What did he actually hit me with? Oh, those things. Right, yeah.
Okay, then we just got to deal with these things. Yeah, I will get I will get through this. I swear. But I'm, I'm guessing we're gonna have, then have to gonna have to fight Virgil after this dude. I mean, this is mission 19, so there's still meant to be one after this. Okay. This way... Is that all? I think that's all of them. Okay. Here he is. Okay, this time I'm not gonna just waste my health to try and get some, uh, some extra thing in. Which I don't think they give me time to anyway. So, <laughs> even if I wanted to, I couldn't. Is he showing up at? Oh, right above me. Okay, there we go. This time, going in with full health. Also, I took one of your uh, weapons, Virgil. Hope you don't mind. Yeah, those things are the things that are doing quite a bit of damage, and they always go for me. And never Virgil. Okay. Yeah. What if I just do this? I sit back. Virgil. Attack him. I think that sounds like a great idea. I stay back. Virgil, Virgil attacks him. Should make it easier for me to avoid them as well. Or not. Ah. Unless I change my weapon when he... With that thing? I don't know. I'll see. See how we go. Okay. 
Up to this part. Easy bit. Yeah, that might have to be the strategy that I go with, with Virgil, honestly. Just let him do all the damage while I stand back. And then I just need to make sure to dodge all the, um, all the things that this thing shoots out. get any extra hits in. Yeah, I like the gun. Or the... Whatever it's actually called. Basically a rocket launcher. I don't know what else you would call it. Okay, this might be the last lot of things we have to deal with before Virgil comes in. I'm not too sure. I mean, I guess if it's not, I'm not going to complain. It gives me a bit more time to try and get some uh, Devil Trigger up to peel. Or use Devil Trigger to peel a little bit. Okay, it's not. But it's very close to. There we go, okay. Basically, full health. Close? Yeah, I've gotten close. Okay, yes. This might be the strategy and the way to go. Go in, Virgil. Do your damage. Go in, Virgil. Come on, Virgil, go, go up to him. Is that best? I don't know. I don't know if that was better or not. Because, I mean, I still take damage. It's definitely less. It might, it might be the way to go. Because I don't have to worry about Virgil actually, you know, being near me while attacking as well. I just got to jump around a bit more. When did that... When is he actually shooting those things? I'm not seeing them... Be shot is also a uh, problem that we're coming to here. I mean, it seems to be sort of working.
Okay, I'm actually just gonna quickly concentrate, so I'm not gonna talk for a quick, like, few minutes. I mean, we're getting close. Okay, we did it. Thank God. What's the whisper time? Let me click my thumb up. What a surprise. Here I was looking for you, and lo and behold, you come to me. Mary. Don't ever call me that again. My mother was the only one who could say my name. Wait. Please. Do you really want to shoot me? Can you shoot me? Your own father?
sacrificed one miserable human being for that reason. That is all. Was that really so awful? Five. Calling her. Unfinished business to take care of. Help me, Mary. Mary died a long time ago. My name is Lady. I can talk again. <laughs> redeem? Yeah, it, it was a redeem. It was whisper time. Now, cast off your pride and embrace your fate. What is our fate is the question, though. I don't see why her why her father thought she would let him live. He already, he already betrayed her, like, a few times. No, that's mine. No way. You got your own. Exactly. Well, I want yours too. That's a bit greedy. Okay, how are you doing again? I'm doing pretty good, I think. We're close to the end. Why does Virgil have to be like this? We were such cool brothers fighting that dude. Right. Did you know, it was such cool brothers fighting that dude. And then Virgil has to go and act like this. Yeah, let's see how our fight with Virgil goes. I mean, I've fought you before, Virgil, so I, I think I know how to deal with you. Damn, he hit me. Oh yeah, I forgot. God damn it, he's going to get his health back while he's in Devil Trigger mode. Also, what? I need to not be so close to him. Oh my god! Stop stringing attacks together, Virgil. Stop it! Not very nice. Do I have to hit him, actually hit him to get rid of his devil trigger? I do. Oh, god damn it. This isn't going to go too well. Virgil's going to be harder than I thought. <laughs> I feel like this is going to be a little bit of a hard battle. 
Oh, I was using the wrong weapons anyway. Stop. Stop running around so much, Virgil. Goddamn, as soon as my thing ends... It... No. 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 Stop. Yeah, there's nothing I can do against him when he's like this. But then I need to hit him to turn his devil trigger off. So it's like, what do I do? Okay, I think what I gotta do there is wait till I can get my Devil Trigger to turn off his Devil Trigger. And I also can't just walk up to him, otherwise he does three bars... Three bars of damage. And I have no time to actually... Actually react to... Because you can spam the dodge button, but he doesn't dodge in time. This is going to be a hard fight. I didn't even damage him that time. I didn't even have time to hit him! Okay, when he puts his sword away, that's when we attack. Uh, this is where I just jump around and, and hope. He's back up to full health. Oh god. Okay, I need to do more. Get to him when he does more of them, but it's just... He doesn't do them very often. He likes close range attack damage. I... Or fighting. I don't. Because I don't know how to actually... You know... Fight him close... How am I meant to fight him close range? That's my problem. Oh, I thought I was dead already. Uh. No, stay away. <laughs> stay away. Damn it. Wrong weapon. Equipped. Okay, there we go. A little bit of damage. Now he's putting it back in the sheath, so we attack. Okay, come on. I was going to say, how is this Devil Trigger lasting for so long? Yes, he's putting it back in his sheath. Okay, now we attack. Are you feeling also are you feeling better, Millie? I thought it would it was time for him to put it back in his sheath. 
Yeah, he's shaving. No, oh, I'm too late. Can't get over to him fast enough. Yes, he's shaving it. I think I'm just gonna have to play this patiently. Damn it, he already sheathed it. I need to attack him when he's putting the sword back in the sheath. I think that's what it's called, the sheath. I don't know, it's something like that. Yeah, I just need to do this about 10 more times. He wasn't chasing it. God damn it. Too late. Stop. Okay. It did so much damage there. Okay. Just focus me. Focus. Don't die. <laughs> I think I'm a little bit bad. A little bit dead. Virgil, look, that's un it's unfair. How am I meant to not get hit by those... <laughs> those combos so basically you get hit by Virgil about four times or get caught in his combos and you're dead we just need to combo him about 10 plus times and he needs to combo us about like five or something around there I probably could have gone in for a few more hits there What? That's new. That's new. Damn it. He's too good at comboing. Stop it, Virgil. Just stop it. What am I meant to do? It follows me. I'm dead. Have I even gotten him down halfway yet? I don't even know if we've gotten him down halfway. He didn't even need to sheath his sword. When does when do you sheath your sword? Virgil, tell me. Like there. I did I d couldn't combo him. Yeah, 
Didn't even sheath it, have to sheath his sword. It's like that was the back sword, not even his normal sword. I'm gonna actually just not talk during this during this one and see how we go. This may be fun. I <laughs> don't know what to do. That was even worse. Huh. I don't think shooting really helps. I thought maybe he'd do more of those attacks where he'd, and then he'd have to sheath his sword more, but he doesn't. And then getting out of his combos is... Horrible. At least trying to get out of his combos is horrible. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to take as much time as I can against Virgil, I think. It's like even taking my time doesn't really work sometimes. It's like when he does that thing. He teleports to above you, and if I've been in the air, I can't dodge that. Then I really like double dodged, so not a lot you can do. And he does that even if you can dodge it. See? What do I do there? What do I actually do against that one? Hurts my brain. Right, stop. It's the only way I can survive. Having my double trigger on. Was his devil trigger last for so long? 
He's back at full health. Why does it have this double trigger last for so long, man? I could have gone for a hit there, but wouldn't have been worth it. And him having two swords makes it really annoying. You can't tell when he's sheathing and when he's just putting his normal sword away. We can't tell between the katana and the other one, I guess would be a better way of explaining it. I feel like he didn't need, he didn't sheath that time. He's back at full health! I didn't notice he was back at full house. Even if he's mid doing an attack, he still blocks my incoming. Yeah, the only time I can get damage is when he's sheathing and he's back at full health. <laughs> what do I do, game? What do you want from me? Any damage I do, he gets... He deals with his devil trigger. And then I can never find time to attack him. Because he never sheaths. Like, I, he always used to sheath after doing that attack, but he doesn't anymore. He only sometimes sheaths. See? Like, he didn't sheath. So, can't attack him. Why does he sheath after that one? I don't get. Half the time when he does sheath, I'm too far away from him because I can't be close to him if, without taking damage. And that one was a sheath and he still blocked it. I'm dead. <sighs> Let me try something. Okay, if he does do this one... No, you can't really hit him there. I turned off my devil trigger at the wrong time. Yep. When this is going on, I basically just need to not even be near him. Okay. So, there's a chance that he sheaths after every single attack.
No, stop. I had my devil drink run, did I not? I guess I did. Okay. I believe. Okay, yeah, I just need to not get close to him unless he's sheathing. Even sometimes when he isn't, when he is sheathing, still not okay. Basically, just don't be near him unless he is sheathing. Now yeah, let's use our devil trigger too. Hmm? What are you gonna do if I use my devil trigger when you use yours? Can I attack him when he's sheathing his back sword? I don't think I can, or sheathing the sword onto his back. I'd have to be very precise. I don't know if I could. He's back at full health. Game. Ga game. How is this? He's back at full health. How is he back? So he basically just goes out of Devil Trigger once he's back at full health. Seems to be how it goes. Also, all the damage I got to do at the very start is is gone. I only got one hit in. How is... How is that fair, Virgil? Tell me. How? 
you're, you're gonna get your devil trigger back and you're gonna be at full health. <laughs> that was the best I've done. And he almost ended up back at full health. How? How, Virgil? Tell me. Tell me how. He seems to heal when he's blue. Yeah, he goes in his devil trigger and, and heals. But thing is, I can't damage him when he's when he's in his devil trigger. So... And I can only ever attack him if he's, like, sheathing his sword. So... I, I, I don't know what to do. Because I think you can try and, like, quote-unquote... Uh, get him out of it somehow. That's the thing. I think you have to hit him. But the only time I could do that is if I'm in my devil trigger. Otherwise, I'm just going to basically, like, die. I think it gets, it gets him out of it a little faster, but not enough. If I, like, hit him a little bit, we can... The thing is, he gets me out of mine first. So, now there's basically nothing I can do against him. Because he just... I can't damage him while he's in it, so... I mean, I guess I could wait for him to be in one of those and, like, sheath it and then try and get into my double trigger and then attack him or something like that. Damn it, I missed my chance. And this is on the medium difficulty. What would this on hard be? I thought he'd be sheathing his sword. He wasn't, and I'm dead. See, that one I don't know how to defend against. So you can hit him when he's sheathing his other sword as well. Damn it. I missed my time. Also, hydrate, push, check, and two more hydrates. I'll do that in a quick minute, Millie, once I inevitably die. There we go, we got him out of it. Damn it, missed it. Yeah, but I missed it again. Because I don't want to get too close to him. Because I know what happens if I get too close. Okay, we got him out of it. Okay, now there's not a lot I can do. I take back what I said.
What is he doing? What is this? What is this? So close. Yeah, I had to use my thing at the end there because I had to try and get some health back. But yeah, time to time to hydrate and stretch. It was so close. So close yet so far. Okay, there we go. Let's try this again. What if me and Virgil just stand here? Never mind. He started walking. I was like, what if we both just stand here? Got this. Damn, I missed so much. I wasted so much of my thing time trying to. I didn't get him out of the blue mode fast enough. No pyramid. Yeah, I'll have to set it. I mean, it is technically a pyramid. Sideways pyramid. Yeah, I'll have to um try and set it up with. I think it's stream elements. You can set something up so you can do pyramids. I'll have to figure out how to set that up. I'm just letting him walk all over me this time. Okay, I don't know how this one's gonna go. Considering I'm basically dead. 
and he doesn't really have any damage done to him. I don't know how this run's going to go. I'm dead. No. Damn it. It's fine. Okay. I mean, it's one of those things where I'll probably have to set it up at some point for if other people want to use it as well. Damn, I'm using the wrong sword. I do that every single team. Surely I can get into that final point again. Surely I can get into that phase again where he's doing all those weird attacks. Ow. Damn it, I missed it! Use the power of clinch. It has to be it, that gotta be what I gotta do. Surely. Ow. The worst part is the amount of damage that he does. Because he strings his combos together. It's the worst part. And then also when I'm running up to try and hit him. And he's already recovered. Damn it, all went into like that and you're not quite close enough. <laughs> yeah. I want to walk up to him because I think he's putting his sword away, but he's not. And then he gets those all those hits like, like that. Which do like three... I'm dead. Which do like three slots of damage. This is unfair, this is a scam, and he's bullying me. Using the wrong swords.
Yeah, try to hit him after those combos, but it's really hard to try and do that. That one. Ow. That hurt. Quite a bit. Ow. Ow. No, I'm dead. I got dead like halfway. No bullying the carrot had dead? Yeah, maybe if you tell Virgil not to bully, maybe he'll be nicer or the game will just end and we win. That would be really good. If he just gave up and let us have it. Or if you only ever, ever did one bar of damage, that would make things a lot better as well. Because the amount that he does is too much. Damn it. Damn it, I keep accidentally attacking the wrong way now. He always keeps blocking them like that. I feel like he shouldn't be able to be doing that, but he is. Also, Virgil, I'm just saying, you should be down at like half health. I'm just putting it out there. <laughs> What's the time? Because uh, I know I started early, so I at least have quite a bit of time to uh, to do this. I mean, not because I knew it was going to be hard. Mainly because I just figured I hadn't streamed in a few days, so I figured I'd start early. Thing is, with those with those stringed attacks together, there's no way of me dodging them.
What am I meant to do against that sword? Okay, it, it was okay that time. Damn it! What? How's he already got his devil trigger back? How? I don't see this going too well. See, like, how's he already got his devil trigger back again? He shouldn't already have it back. He literally had it, like, Two seconds ago. I'm dead. I mean, I know it sounds like I'm complaining, but I mean, I'm complaining for a reason. Because he shouldn't be able to use it and then 10 seconds later use it again. That is called a scam game. And I think Virgil is scamming me. Of my rightfully deserved damage and health. How has he not been to I was gonna say how has he not been transformed back? I forgot, I can still use items. Okay, item.
It sucks he gets to heal when he's doing this thing as well. No. Not this time. Not this time, Virgil! Oh. <laughs> yes. How are you meant to S this? I don't understand. Oh, he's not even going to use his katana. He's going to use Sparta's sword. I think that's what it is, at least. Yeah, you wanted mine. Is he really that petty that he's going to take his thing and jump off the edge because he doesn't want me to have it? Then again, I didn't necessarily want it to be fair. Be more powerful. Not really petty, or just I don't know. You're still here. I need that back. No late charges, I hope. Hmm. I'll think about it. We should be fine for now. But I'm sure they'll be back soon. No, I didn't. No idea what you're talking about. The devil's made a cry. I see. <laughs> Maybe somewhere out there, even a devil may cry when he loses a loved one. Don't you think? Maybe. By the way. We may. Well, bring it on. I love this. This is what I live for. Yeah, I definitely feel like this game's a prequel to number one. I'm absolutely crazy about it. Oh, oh, oh. 
Right, I remember there being an achievement thing where you kill a hundred enemies in the outro thing here. Which that'd be if you play, you probably have to play through it multiple times to do that, so. Oh, we both get to have the gun. Let's go. What more could you want from an outro in a game, honestly? I don't think you could really want much more. I feel like people aren't really going to be looking at the names too much. But at least, this is different to any other outro I've had where you still get to play the game. While it's an outro credit. It makes it so much more interesting. Right, missing. I don't know. Now, does this include? I don't know if it includes the ones that she beats as well. It might. I, don't, I think she steals. I don't know. Maybe she doesn't. I think it just doesn't include everyone that's killed. It seems like we have a lot of cleaning up to do. Because, like, this place seemed to be destroyed even before we... Or even before that thing rose up from the ground. It was like we walked outside of a shop, there was a crashed bus and a few other things. Yeah, I don't know what was going on with this place. Yeah. I'm pretty sure number five is apparently the last one in the Devil May Cry series. So I don't think there's going to be any, any more. I think. Could be wrong. Yeah, after I play number 5, I think I'll probably play Devil May Cry, Devil May Cry, because I think that's a remake of number 1. I think it is, at least. Could be wrong, though. Yeah, and then there's also if I'm going to go through this one again, as well. Also, we're close to 100. We're almost there. Just seven more. Six more. Five more. Four. Three. Two. Oh. No. No. Let me take out the 100. Please. No! I was so close. No, we did it. Nothing really. We took care of all the remaining devils, and that was it. I still have a job to do that's far from done, which is to eliminate every last demon. I need to ensure that monsters like my father never come about again. And he promised to help me hunt down the demons, even though he's part one himself. But now I realize that there are humans as evil as any devil, as well as kind and compassionate demons in this universe. At least I found one so-called devil who is able to shed tears for those he cares about. That's enough for me to believe in him. Is his name Dante? Now I can start my business. Oh, speaking of a kind devil, he finally decided on a name for his shop. It took him quite a while to pick one. Want to know the name? Devil May Cry. There you go.
Now, how much damage did I take? Sorry, is that 300,000? <laughs> okay, quite a bit of damage. Quite a bit. Now, what does it mean by 2 and 5 down there? Why are there stars next to those ones? Congratulations, do happy and consider. Hard mode is now available, gallery mode, bloody palace mode, Virgil is now selectable, and your costume has been updated. Movie has been added to the gallery, illustration has been added to the gallery. There's a lot. There we go. Now I can play through on hard. All the other things. Okay, there you go. Now, what is the time? It is only 5.57. I don't know if I have my other game that I was going to stream downloaded. I don't think I do. Let me check. Uh, S, I don't. It's not too big, so it shouldn't take too long to download. Uh, let me see how long it'll take. Depends when it wants to start. Here we are. Apparently it'll take eight. eight minutes, six minutes, five minutes, four minutes. Okay, about four minutes or so. I guess while we go through all that's going on, let's alt tab out here. So far, I guess it's not really so far because I've completed them all, but I guess it sort of is so far. Devil May Cry, very good game. Probably, probably up there with probably up there is one of my favorites now. Actually, it was very enjoyable, which I still have quite a bit more to play because I'm still planning to try and 100% this game. It's gonna take probably the rest of the year. But I'm going to do it. Because number one is almost done. All I got to do is go through it without using any yellow yellow orbs. And also beating it on the hardest difficulty. And then that's number one done. Then number two, all we have left to do is... Let's see. Uh, fit the game on the hard mode. Or the harder modes. Um... Finish the game as Trish, go through the Bloody Palace, give an S rank on the mission as both of them, and then the normal things like max out health bar, max out devil trigger, and there's collect 12 blue orb fragments, which you'll have to do for the max health anyway, so those kind of all go together. Uh, Reset with three on all swords, which you'll have, I'll probably do anyway while going through on harder. Uh, Reset with three on all arsenals with Lucia, which I'll probably do anyway. They do devil hearts with Lucia. Devil hearts. Yeah, that's something I'm going to have to do anyway with doing the devil triggers and stuff. We don't have to, but I'm going to probably do. Max out devil trigger gauge with Dante. Max out health bar with Dante. Max out health bar, max out health bar with any character with any... Oh. So if you do that, you get four, four achievements anyway. And then there's reach the highest level in all styles with Dante. Oh, this is Devil May Cry 3. Never mind. There's higher... Devil Gauge, Health Bar, Highest Level in All Styles, which as you go on through you'll get. Every mission in Yellow Orb Mode, I'll have to do that at some point. I'll probably do that on Easy, gonna be honest. Um, 
I defeat Jester in all forms. I must have missed a fight with Jester. Uh, purchase all double arm skills with Dante. Basically just going through the game and collecting all the things and beating it. So, yeah. Not too bad. Now, while I'm going through here, let's see. Um... Now I need to change the title on the game. Uh, game. Snake pass. Done. There we go. Let's update successfully. Let's start the game. Yeah, there we go. Okay. okay. Let's make sure it captures the game. Uh, click pass. Okay. Click into it. Click, click out. Okay, it is capturing the game. So let's start. Now, I think this is going to be easiest with a controller. Just setting until the snake pass logo is barely visible. It's like all the way down here. I'm still like that. We have three save slots. Arcade mode! I'm just gonna go with the new game. How many missions are there? I guess I can't check. Noodle. Noodle. I'm guessing I am Noodle. Wake up. Noodle. Something's wrong. The gate. The gate is broken. If we don't fix it, we'll be stuck here forever. I was about to say, is that that bad? But I guess it is. Um, hold right trigger to move forward. I uh, use left, left stick to, I guess, yep, yeah, snake around. Yeah, anything behind us? Anything back this way? There is something over there. I guess we'll just snake around. And I don't want to collect all of these. Now, do we want to run into those bug things, or not really matter too much? Pick up speed by slithering left and right with left stick. So basically, just be a snake. Oh god, I, I, this is going to take some getting used to. No, I missed it. Give it back. There we go. Yeah, I need to not turn too much. Now, what do we do here? Uh, lift your head by holding A. I think I can do that. Yeah, these controls gonna take some getting used to. But look at me, I'm a slithery boy. Who doesn't want to be a, a, a slithery snake? But I can tell <laughs> this is definitely gonna get a. Uh, I don't know if it would be annoying. It's definitely going to be something. Further in the game. The keystone is missing from the gate. We need to find the keystone and bring it back. I mean, it's only over there. It's not too bad. Too big of a deal. I don't see why we'd get stuck here. We can always go and grab it. It's just over there. Now, I kind of want to go and grab that, uh... Grab that, uh, uh, coin. Uh, please. Oh, oh, God. This is gonna... Okay. Get up. No, 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 no! 
No! Please! Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm making it. I'm making it. How am I making it? How? How? I honestly... What, uh, I'm going to take it. I'm going to take that. I'm going to take that as an absolute win. How, how, how I didn't die, I don't know. But I guess I can't really complain, can I? Now, where the rest of those things were? Or are? I have no idea. Wait, did you just take... Why couldn't you have grabbed the thing in the first place? Why'd you have me grab the stone? Oh, and there we go. Played the mission. Superb. There are the... There are five coins in that level. Where are the other 